Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. We always have dynamic stock picks to share with you, at least our strategists do today. No exception as we talk with Dan LeBeau and Ben Rains. Rarity that we have two people right here at the desk to uh, share picks, but today is a, a, a great day for that. And so, Dan, we're going to start with you. You've got Taiwan Semi? Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Mm -hmm. Usually call it TSMC is the acronym. Don't, not to be confused with the, uh, the ticker TSM. Okay. But this is kind of an under the radar stock. Not a lot of people know about this. It's, uh, it's an ADR, so it's traded uh, not directly on the exchanges. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's one of those stocks that's kind of underlying the entire semiconductor company. Yeah, I read something that space. you wrote recently about that. Yeah. It's like leading the sector. Yeah, no, it actually just became the largest semiconductor uh, company in the world by market cap. Mm -hmm. um, it just passed uh, the industry leader for years, Intel. Mm -hmm. um, and it's being driven by... Uh, you know, it's innovation and its ability to adapt and quickly evolve and uh, it's kind of keeping Moore's law alive. Um, it's, it's working with top companies like AMD mm -hmm. and NVIDIA and it's kind of propelling it into uh, the future of our technology. Um, so right now they're working with Samsung and they're building a, uh, a new chip that's five nanometers for transistor size and this is unbelievably small. Uh, I don't know if you understand how small a nanometer is, but an atom is half a nanometer. I get a so, good idea. Yeah, they're, they're, working on, they're working on the atomic scale, and they're able to put 30 billion transistors on this, this new Samsung chip that they're coming out with next year. Wow. Um, so technology is, is unbelievable. Um, this company has grown significantly over the, the years. Um, this year alone, uh, we've seen over 40% uh, stock price appreci appreciation. Um, as we know, the semiconductor industry has kind of had a cyclical downturn with slowdowns in iPhone and smartphone demand, as well as a slowdown in uh, the hyperscaling and data centers. Mm -hmm. um, but we were just turning around, and <clears throat> TSM was able to show a increase in revenability year over year, which is the first uh, quarter to be able to do this over the last year, year and a half. Um, so the sector itself is, is showing a a cyclical upturn, and I think there's a lot of potential in this company right now. We got two and a half percent dividend uh, that TSM is is giving investors, and they've consistently been able to uh, beat margins and, and and push further and further into the space. Um, and I think there's a lot of opportunity, especially being an incognito stock mm -hmm. um, that not a lot of people are looking at. So analysts are increasingly optimistic about it. A few analysts that are looking at it, and it's a Currently, a Zach's rank one yeah. strong buy. I saw that. Yeah, mm. with good momentum score too. Yeah, great momentum and yeah. a lot of opportunity. I think. <clears throat> All right, Benjamin, yours is a number one rank and has great momentum score as well. You're talking about Yeti Holdings. Yeah. So as its name might suggest, it's a cooler company. They started in 2006, went public basically last year at this time, so October 2018. Mm -hmm. And today they sell way more than coolers. Their drinkware business is growing quickly. It's now doing more than half of their revenue. So we take the train uh, in the L in the morning in Chicago. I see their tumblers all over the place. So that's a big part of their business. They're also growing their direct to consumer business and uh, they're expanding their retail footprint for the first time really. So. The next big step is that international growth, which is something they've pointed to. And they've even expanded their customer base to be more towards females as well. Oh. They were, uh, in 2015, they were at 9% women, and now they're at 33% women for sale. So it's, it's a company that's really expanding its reach. It started as, as I said, a high-end cooler company that was geared basically just towards commercial fishermen and hunters. Mm. So I'm going to quickly just look at that website real fast to give people a sense if you don't know what a Yeti cooler is because <laughs> now you see them now from tailgates to camp uh, uh, outs and everything like that so they started with selling literally $1,300 coolers for commercial fishermen and now they're as I said most of their 57 percent of their business is coming from this drinkware which costs everywhere anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks and you can buy them in two packs and stuff like that so it's definitely something you've seen a lot more of recently and it's, it's certainly a big holiday gift as well but I also wanted to go 
on this, uh, their kind of investor presentation from Q3, which they just beat both on the top and bottom line on Halloween. So as a, yeah, 56% of their sales are coming from that drinkware unit. They're really talking about how international is such a small part of their business, less than 5% right now. So that's where they see growth coming going forward. And you can kind of think of them living in that Lululemon space. They're mm. growing on social media, especially on Facebook's Instagram platform. Really quickly, they're up just below Lululemon in terms of um, their reach there in near uh, the North Face and Patagonia. And they're even ahead of uh, Canada Goose, which is that high-end coat brand that had popped on the scene a couple years ago. And their stock price had done well for a little bit, but Canada Goose has fallen back recently. They're in everywhere from uh, – they're in – so we have them at Dick's Sporting Goods, Lowe's, Cabela's, all those places. But as I mentioned, they're growing their own direct-to-consumer retail space. They have a new store actually in Chicago oh. in the Wicker Park area. So they're an awesome Texas-based company. I want to take a look at their stock price quickly. But they, they popped up big to start. And they're up about 80% since going public in October of 2018. But year to date, they, they're up about 105%, but most of that was coming in the beginning of the year. So the last six months, they've cooled off substantially. So this could be kind of a lull, and maybe you could see a buying opportunity coming up. But they're still actually outpacing Lululemon so far this year. And if we look at what to expect from them, we're expecting about 15.4% revenue growth in Q4. 13% growth on the bottom line, 15% growth for that full fiscal 2019 with over 25% growth on the bottom line, and then more double-digit growth to come in the year after that. They've consistently beat on the bottom line as well. So it's trending heavily in the right direction. And if we look, the leisure and recreation products industry hmm. out of our Zacks Industries is currently in the top 14%. So we kind of have a, a rising tide situation heading into the holiday shopping season yeah. where Yeti might be a good gift for people with this this tumbler business skyrocketing recently. If uh, what you see on the L is any indication, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> it may well be. Yeah. So, do either of you own either of these two stocks? Uh, I do not. I do not know. Okay. Thank you both for that. Don't forget, always more stock information readily available on our website zax.com. Get over to the homepage and start sifting through it. And also, don't forget that for a limited time, you can. Uh, follow market insights buys and sells from all of our recommendation portfolios and you can do it in real time and the best part is it only costs you one dollar you can also look into the services that typically are uh, exclusive and closed to outsiders but you can look into them during this uh, period of time too they'll be open to you when you purchase this uh, service through the invitation at zax.com slash promo. That's where you can find all the details for this offer. With Dan and Ben, I'm Terry Ruffalo.